Introduction Who doesn't like wearing garments made of silk? The shimmer of silk and its soft touch makes it choice of one and all. Silk saris of India are world famous. In India, silk is considered auspicious and is associated with festivals and celebrations. Be it Diwali, Dasehra, or Durga Puja, or a betrothal, wedding, or arrival of a new member in the family, silk adds grace to the occasion. In this lesson, we will learn about the characteristics and types of silks and also understand how the silk fabric is obtained from silk worms. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand what silk is, know the history of silk, list the characteristics of silk, explain the life cycle of a silk moth, Describe the process of obtaining silk from cocoon. Silk is a natural protein fiber of exceptional strength, texture and luster. The shimmer of silk fiber is the result of its triangular prism-like structure. Silk is produced by many insects such as silk worms, bees, wasps and ants that use it for building their nests. Spiders also produce silk, but the silk produced by silk worms only is processed into silk fabric. Silk was discovered first in China by a Chinese empress as far back as 3500 BC. In India, there is evidence that silk was in use during the Indus Valley Civilization. Today, India is the second largest producer of silk. Bulk of it is produced in Karnataka. India is also the largest consumer of silk in the world. Some famous silks of India are Dharma Varam Sel, Kanji Varam Sel, Mysore Sel, Banaras Sel, Murshidabad Sel, etc. Silk is a strong and resilient fiber. It is soft to touch, but at the same time, it is not slippery. It has sheen and luster. It is hypoallergenic. That is to say, it causes less allergies in human beings. It absorbs moisture. Silk is warm in winters and cool in summers. It is easy to maintain. Tusser silk, Munga silk and Kosa silk are different varieties of silk. These silks are obtained from the cocoons spun by different types of moths. Mulberry silk is the most popular of all categories of silk and is produced by mulberry silk moth that completely feeds on the leaves of mulberry plant. These moths are reared indoors and completely domesticated. Most of the commercial silk is mulberry silk. The silk obtained from the cocoon of this moth is soft, lustrous and elastic and can be dyed in beautiful colors. The life cycle of a silk worm begins with the laying of a microscopic egg and ends with the emergence of a beautiful moth. Let's look at the different stages in the life cycle of a silk worm. The female silk moth lays tiny microscopic eggs at the end of summer. They remain dormant till spring. Come spring, tiny black caterpillars or larvae emerge from these eggs. These caterpillars feed on mulberry leaves 
and grow bigger and bigger. Then they spin a protective cocoon of silk threads around themselves. These cocoons are white or golden in color. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillars change into pupa. As long as the caterpillars pupate, they do not eat. After two or three weeks, beautiful silk moths emerge from the cocoons. Silk is processed from cocoons. Once the silkworms spin a protective cocoon around themselves, these cocoons are boiled in hot water to separate the silk fiber from the worms. Each cocoon is made of one single silk thread. The trick is to locate one end of the thread. Then it is easy to unwind the silk thread from the cocoon. The process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling. These silk threads are then used to manufacture silk fabric. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Silk is a natural protein fiber. Silk was first discovered in China. Silk is strong and resilient. Silk worms are caterpillars of silk moth. Silk fiber is obtained from the cocoons spun by silk worms. 